Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks bringing you the Daily Apple Report for Wednesday, November 30th, 2022. Before I jump into the charts, please click like if you haven't already. We do appreciate that. It helps us out a great deal in being found on YouTube when others search for daily Apple analysis. Uh, and that also includes the daily Tesla report, which we also upload every day. Click like every, every time. We greatly appreciate it. Also, subscribe to the Wicked Sox YouTube channel if you haven't already. It'll provide you notification each and every time new content has been uploaded. That includes the daily Apple and Tesla report each and every trading day. And share the video, if you would, with friends and colleagues. Let's take a look at the chart. Nice sell-off. I hate to use the word nice when it comes to sell-off because you know, people's equity is being reduced if they're invested in the stock. But we've come off this 150.69 speed line as anticipated. Uh, anticipated might be a strong word, but I've been mentioning since October that this speed line, descending two-thirds speed line, can contain buying into January. And below which, the market in reach of 124 even long-term support by the end of January. And thus far, that is what's playing out. Now, I don't know if we're gonna reach 124 even or not, but also Tuesday's settlement below this near-term channel bottom today at 143.80 uh, is um, in line with that scenario. 143.80 can contain buying through the balance of the week and below which over the next three to five days with this kind of volatility, we can retest the 134.37 double bottom that occurred for October, November. Now, on the next attempt, I really only want to keep the secession containment level. In fact, I have my doubts that on the next attempt of 134.37 that the market will hold for the day. I personally think that on the next attempt, we'll probably close the day below 134.37. Obviously, I don't know that, but I'm just telling you to be careful if you were testing 134.37 in the days ahead, and it is anticipated. Now, we have carefully chosen minor points for aggressive day traders, 142.67, 41.72, 40.40, and 37.68. Both are, sorry, all well-suited for aggressive day traders. I don't see 134.37 today, but we may well test it by Friday's close. And if we settle below it, and it is susceptible to being settled below on the next attempt, then the 124 even level in reach within a week or two of closing below 134.37. This would be a one to two week drop to 124 even. 124 even is long-term support. On the weekly chart, you can see it at 123.95. The start of a range down to 118.41 that if tested between now and say the end of January can absorb selling not only through the first quarter of next year, but even into later 23. Let's talk upside today. Just so you know, a WickedStocks.com membership delivers regular daily video analysis in the SPY and Triple Q, weekly video analysis in the S&P 500 index, the NASDAQ 100 index, and a U.S. Treasury ETF, and two individual stock pick videos every week. Check out our other content by clicking the link below. You know, if we do push or open above 143.80, our first target is 145.45, but we may continue even higher. I don't see 150.69 today, but all these minor points are carefully chosen. Uh, if we push through 143.80, expect at least 145.45. And if we close today back above 143.80, we should have another go at the 150.69 speed line within a matter of two to three days. 150.69, once again, able to contain buying into January and below which we remain heavy down to 124 even. If we do close above 150.69, that is a buy signal. We could look back on it in January or February as the buy signal up to 180.13. But as I've been saying, I would rather just sort of frame it as we remain heavy into January below 150.69 and we don't turn bullish, clearly bullish into January unless we close above 157.51. So, you know, you could play the long side if we close above 150.69. Just know that 157.51 may well test your patience in a big bad way because we could come off of it for a number of days, if not weeks. 
it would be a settlement above 157.51 that would entirely set this market on a bullish path into January, February, two months following 157.51 settlement above. We should then reach the 180.13 channel top where we can place a quarterly high, possibly into later 23. I don't think there's really anything else that needs to be said for Wednesday's Daily Apple Report. Please click like and subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow with Thursday's Daily Apple Report and you have a great day.